Welcome back to the third video of the SD branch from Scratch video series. In the last video, we've configured the configuration of the branch gateway group and 9004 gateway. Now that this device is all up and running, we'll start with the onboarding of the two VPN concentrators. In order to do that, I'll connect both VPNCs to the internet and walk you through the bare minimum config that is needed to get these two devices online. This video will contain the same steps as taken in the last video, but for the completeness of the SD branch from scratch series, this video is also included. That being said, in this video, you will see the use of the group configuration and the synchronization and automation of group config across multiple VPNCs. So let's get started. For the VPNC configuration, I'll head over to the ABC DC group. And this is one data center group for two VPN concentrators with each of them their own IP addressing uh, scheme for the MPLS and internet links. I'll head over to the settings and here I will need to define the group type as a VPNC type like this. And once again, I'll be faced with the wizard to uh, provision the, uh, this particular group. And once again, I'm going to cancel this out just to show you the steps manually need to take in order to uh, get the configuration done. So I'll head over to the advanced mode and start again with the system IP address, just like we did on the last video. For the configuration sake, I'm going to keep this the same, management central, but I will use a different IP addressing scheme. So now I'm going to attach this particular VLAN pool to a VLAN interface. Attaching that to the system IP address over here. And then let's also within the same page configure the DNS and clock settings. So the last step uh, on, in this group configuration before turning on the VPN concentrators and starting the zero touch provisioning process is configuring the interfaces for the internet MPLS link and the data center links as well for connectivity within the data center to exchange route information, for example, and reach the uh, web services and radio server. So I'll go to the VLAN and configure the same MPLS and internet links like we did in the branch gateway group. And I'll create a LAN data center link with a range of 810 VLAN for VPNC number one. And VPNC number two will use the VLAN 820 as th these are separated layer three VPN concentrators within the same data center. So this means that uh, VPNC one will use 810, uh, VPNC number two, 820. And I will define this on a group level. And on device level, VPNC one will have this information filled in and vice versa for uh, VPNC number two. I'm going to enable routing and DHCP on a group level like we did on the branch gateway group. and just enable routing on these VLANs. And now I'm going to tie these VLANs to the specific ports over here. I'll define three ports, whereas port zero will be used for the internet link, port one for the MPLS link, and port two 
for the LAN data center link. Configure this as WAN. And because this is a group level, I'm going to I'm only going to define this specific interface as a LAN interface and define the description because the VLAN assignment will be done on the device itself. And now that I've performed these configurations, it's time to turn on the VPN concentrators and let the zero touch provisioning begin. And that after that's done, we'll have two new branch or VPN concentrators in this list. The two VPN concentrators are now successfully online and we can check that by going to the particular device in the overview mode. You see that it's been online for 13 minutes already and checking the LAN parameters I can take a look at the uh, VLAN interfaces, the 4093 and 4, so the MPLS link and the internet link, and for example also check the routing table as well. So the device is now up and ready to go for the configuration. And we will do that on the device level because we're already done with the group configuration. I'll now start with the configuration of VPNC number one, which will be the 7005, and the 7008 will be VPN concentrator two in the same data center. So selecting this device over here, the context, and then heading to advanced mode. I'll define the name with a password. and heading straight to the interface settings you would see that the ports are already filled in or inherited so 4094 and 4093 and just like I did uh, with the branch gateway before I'm going to fill in or change uh, these VLAN uh, settings from DHP to static I need to make sure that the connectivity is not lost with central because right now we receive these parameters uh, or IP settings to DHP, which also means the default gateway for the routing is also received to DHP. If I'm going to change this from DHP to static, that particular route will disappear. Um, right now I have two links up, so that won't be a huge problem. But just to do it in the correct way, I'm going to first add the default gateways, and then I'm going to change the IP addresses from DHP to static. Now it's time to configure the interface settings as well. And also VLAN 810 will be configured as well. I'm going to do the same for VPNC number two and then we'll check the uh, configuration if everything is still okay. So as you can already see over here, a quick sneak peek, we can see that the host name has already changed so that the configuration changes um, are probably successful. I'm going to cancel the configuration or the configuration wizard.
Now that the internet and MPLS configuration is done, I'll do the same for VLAN 820. But what I also forgot for um, uh, VLAN 810 on the other VPNC is to assign or change that particular port. So I'll do that straight ahead after uh, configuring this interface. like that and then change it over here. And then heading over to VPNC number one to do the same. So after the interface configuration, it's time to reflect the changes that we've made, going to the overview and to the same uh, device that we're on now, going to or navigating to LAN, we see the v VLAN 810, which is currently down at this particular moment, but VLAN 4093 and 4 are up with a static IP address. And heading over to the route table, we see a static IP address or defined as well. And we can do the same for VPNC number two, which is also configured over here as well. And that's a wrap. This was the third video of the SD branch from Scratch series. We've used the group concept to automate our configuration of the VPN constructors. And now that they're up and running, we'll cover the SD WAN part in the next video. Per the usual, I hope you found it informative and if you'd like to receive updates about more videos, like and subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments below this video.